Forget gurus. Forget anyone claiming to be an online business expert without going through the challenges of entrepreneurship themselves. The Real Money, Real Business podcast is here to prove the best insights in online business comes from your fellow online business builders. We dig into stories of entrepreneurs selling their business on the Empire Flippers marketplace so that you can learn how they made their business profitable, how they overcame obstacles, and what lessons they learned in their online journey. If you want to take your business and your knowledge to the next level, you've come to the right podcast. Let's get started. Hey everyone, Sarah here with another great business to discuss on this episode of the Real Money, Real Business podcast. Today's guests are Manu and Brandon, and they're selling their two-site package of Amazon Associates businesses on the Empire Flippers Marketplace. Welcome to the show, Manu and Brandon. How are you doing today? Hey, Sarah. Good, good, good. Sarah. Yeah, great to have you guys here. Looking forward to talking a bit more about your business. Before we dive in, let's go over a brief summary of the business. So this is an two-site package of Amazon Associate businesses in the sports niche created in August 2016. The average monthly revenue of this business is $7,641, and it has an average of $7,429 per month in net profit, and that is based on an 11-month pricing period. Included in the sale of the business are two domains, and I'll site content files and the SOPs. For everyone listening, you can visit empireflippers.com slash marketplace and search for listing number 47322 to learn more about the business or to unlock the listing to start your due diligence if you're interested in purchasing. Now that I've given a general overview of the business, let's dig into the interview. So start me off, tell me a little bit about your background in building and running online businesses. Yeah, absolutely. So Brandon and I have both been in the SEO and affiliate marketing game since 2011, 2012. And we were doing it individually for the first few years. And then in 2015, we teamed up together, started a company called Digidom. And now we have a team of about 26 to 27 employees, all working remotely across the world. And we run a portfolio of affiliate sites. A lot of them monetized through Amazon. That's been what we've been doing for quite a few years now. And so we have a lot of experience in both SEO and anything to do with Amazon associate sites. Wow, that's pretty impressive. Okay, so we've got the pros here in the room. That's awesome. Well, can you tell me, how did you come up with the idea to start this business in particular? Yeah, so the sport is something that I'm interested in myself. And when I was looking for new niches to get into in back in 2016, this was one of the first things that came to mind and ended up being where we could rank it really easy, and at least back then. And it also is highly profitable. So that's how we started off, just an interest in, in the sport. Absolutely. Well, so it sounds like you guys have been pretty deep into the, you know, Amazon Associates and SEO space, like you were saying, you know, I'm curious from your perspective, why do you think Amazon Associates is a great business model for those interested in online business? Yeah, absolutely. So anyone based in the US probably knows how much of a player Amazon already is. That's pretty much where everyone's going to buy, whether they're stocking up for the current coronavirus situation or their everyday supplies. In addition, Amazon, as long as you send someone to Amazon from your website, anything that they buy in a 24 hour period, you still get credit for. So you might send them for a particular product and they end up buying, let's say five, 10 other products in addition, you would still earn a commission on all of these products. And it's just such a good place where, let's say you have a website and you want to expand it into, you know, slightly related sub niches, Amazon sells that already. So it's a very easy, smooth transition to expanding the site. And yeah, like I mentioned, Amazon gives you commission on everything that you sell. So it's great. Awesome. That's a great answer. So why are you selling the business instead of keeping it and growing it? Yeah, we've been running this site now for four years. And we're at the point where we're massively looking to expand our business, which means we need a lot of capital to invest in a particular set of sites that we're focusing on. And this site is just at the point now where we feel like it would be a really good buy for someone interested in buying an Amazon Associates. And it also just provides us with the capital that we need for our growth plans in 2020. Okay. You know, would you say there's anything that you learned from this business that you'd apply to future sites or businesses? Or um, did you learn anything along the way that you just found really seemed to work for you? 
Yeah, one thing with this business is it's a two-site package. And the reason that came about is when we built the first site and ranked it, we realized we had done the hardest thing in the space, which is to rank number one for any particular keyword. And so our thought was if we can add a second site, we've already done the hardest thing, so we should have a decent enough chance of ranking the second site as well, which proved true. And so what's happened is we've doubled our real estate on page one for this niche, which means that it keeps our competitors away and kind of has a nice buffer around the number one and number two positions in this niche. So that was something that we did for the first time with this site and worked out really well for us. That's exciting stuff. So, of course, all sides of the story here. We do have to talk about the flip side. Was there anything that you tried that, say, didn't work while growing this business? Yeah, so we actually did a little bit of uh, conversion optimization a couple of years ago, and it ended up, I guess it's a good and a bad thing. It didn't really give us any positive results. We weren't able to increase the earnings per visitor by doing the conversion testing. And I guess that's a bad thing in that we couldn't increase. But on the flip side, we actually had started off with a pretty well-converting design on the site anyway. So a little bit of good and bad over there. Okay. What advice would you give to our listeners that you wish you'd known when you had started? Yeah, I would definitely say like if you're someone who's building a site and you're already in a niche, you already know what it takes to dominate that niche. So might as well build a second site and, you know, just double your chance of success, have a backup site. It just all sorts of advantages that come from it. Awesome. Tell me where the majority of your traffic's coming from and what you're currently doing in terms of marketing for the businesses. So all of our traffic right now comes from organic search. So anytime someone goes to Google and searches for a particular keyword that we cover on our site, we rank really high for it. So in most cases, we rank number one or in the top few positions on page one. And yeah, that's where majority of our traffic comes from. Okay. Anything else you're doing for marketing? In terms of marketing, not right now. So this is a niche where... It's not like iPhones, new iPhones coming into the market every, you know, every other day. So the products are pretty static and we haven't had to really add much content. All of our content is really high quality. It's been added. It's been written by native English speakers based in North America. And so we haven't really had to add a lot of content or do much in terms of marketing. To be frank, most of the work that we're doing on the site, which is very little is just to monitor the rankings, the traffic and the earnings coming in. Like that's the extent of what's going on for the site, which makes it a really enticing buy for a buyer who's not looking to invest too much time and just use it for cash flow. Ah, perfect. Well, I mean, you're teaming up for my next question then, you know, thinking about the buyer here, what are the major opportunities for growth for the buyer? Yeah, so there's quite a few opportunities, actually, because this has not been a site that we've really focused on growing as part of our 2020 growth plans. There's quite a few easy wins for a buyer. So one of them would be just enabling the Amazon One Link for international earnings. So that means just anytime someone comes from, let's say, Canada or the UK or Germany, they would be redirected automatically by just adding a piece of code. They'd be redirected to the appropriate Amazon site and would allow the site owner to make money on any products sold in any of those other countries, which is pretty big. I know we had that for a little bit and we were seeing some really good results from that. And I think we've dropped the ball on it right now, to be honest. So just adding a piece of code would be an easy win. There's also, we've had a lot of success with adding ads to our sites so we haven't done it with this site so again it would just be signing up for one of the major ad networks like ad thrive or mediavine and just adding the ads to the site what we've noticed is it does not affect our amazon sales but easily adds another anywhere from 10 to 20 percent of revenue based on the niche so a little bit of diversification there as well as extra income and it's a pretty easy win two other things would be Content expansion, you know, there's definitely room for the site to grow in that sense. And there's probably an FBA angle here as well for somebody who uh, has connections in manufacturing. Absolutely. One more thing to add is our biggest site out of the two sites is already ranking for the majority of the keywords 
the second site ranks for a handful of the keywords that the first site ranks for, but is sitting really nice either at the bottom of page one or the top of page two. So if someone's looking to grow it, it would not take that much effort and they could definitely just make sure that you have a, you're just completely dominating all the sub niches for in the space. Great. Yeah. And we already have the content on the sites, on both sites for that. Awesome. Well, so some really exciting opportunities and definitely easy wins, like you're saying. Now, again, on the flip side, would you say that there's any risks with this business that a buyer should be aware of? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, any website that gets its traffic from Google is subject to their algorithm updates. That It happens every so often, right? There's no way to go around it. A couple of things that we've done to mitigate risk, which is always a big thing in our minds, is you have two sites that basically reduces your risk of both the sites being taken out if an algo update hits. It might affect one, but it's definitely a huge benefit to having a second backup site. In addition, I think the fact that these sites have been live and earning since 2016 is a big vote of confidence for how they were built and just their ability to withstand the small updates that Google sends out that might take out other sites. Yeah, and the two sites really do counterbalance each other pretty nicely where they there's no connection or link between them. We call that a footprint. And each site has different characteristics. They have a different set of links pointing to them. Uh, there's no overlap there. One is a very brandable domain. Um, the other is a, a more keyword-based domain. So yeah, they're unique in certain ways. And I, I think that, that gives us some uh, diversification here. Great. Well, can you tell me more about the amount and type of work you're doing on this business for maintenance? Yeah, so for both the sites right now, all we're doing is just monitoring traffic earnings and revenue on a weekly basis. And they're both very stable where we haven't had to do any work at all. Most of the content that had been added to the site had been added at the start. And like I said, it's not a rapidly changing niche. So we haven't had to like update the content per se. And yeah, most of the work is just sit back and monitor rankings, traffic, and earnings. Great. Okay. So, you know, what skills or requirements are there for someone not familiar with this niche or business model? I think a general sense of SEO and how that works is definitely very handy, especially if you're looking to grow the site. But even just to, just to stay in the space, I think just a general understanding of what works in SEO, what doesn't, that's definitely a good thing to have. Beyond that, since the site doesn't really need a lot of work on an ongoing basis, it's actually a really good site for someone who wants to just buy and maintain it and you know use it for cash flow. But if someone's looking to actively grow it, a huge area of expertise over here would be Amazon FBA experience. There's definitely quite a few products in this space that can be that are really like a target market for Amazon FBA sellers. In addition to that, if someone has experience with conversion rate optimization, they could stand to have better results than what we had in the past. We think the site is pretty well designed, but there's always room for improvement and just, yeah, just increasing the earnings by 10 to 20% could make a huge difference in the bottom line. Okay, great. How much support are you offering buyers? Yeah, so we'll, we'll definitely be in touch via email for 30 days with the buyer and any questions that they have, We'll be more than happy to help them out with it. We also have a really long history with Empire Flippers and with the sites that we've sold. I think we're currently around that 10 site mark that we have sold with Empire Flippers. And we're pretty regularly in touch with quite a few of the buyers. Anytime they need help, we're more than happy to kind of jump in there and give any assistance we can within reason. Great. Would you commit to a non-compete? Absolutely. Are you open to something like it or now? It's not our preferred... At the end of the day, we, we'd like to hear any offer and you know listen to the offers and make our decision from there. Our preferred option right now would be 100% buyout. Okay. I want a few personal questions for you. You know, Would you say there's anyone who inspired you while building this business that our listeners might like as well? So that might be a particular podcast, YouTubers, communities that you just think are really great resources for those interested in Amazon Associates. Yeah, a couple actually. So it's funny, since we've been in this game for so long, we were actually were following Justin and Joe <laughs> back in in their AdSense flippers days. So that's how long we've been in it. 
But I think another guy that probably gets recommended quite a bit over here is Matt Diggity. And his blog has been super helpful to us. He's just a all around great dude. We keep going to his Chiang Mai SEO conference and are friends with him. And yeah, if someone hasn't followed his blog or joined his Facebook affiliate SEO mastermind group, I definitely recommend that. Great. Yeah, I'd also add, um, I think for beginners, uh, Tung Tran, Vietnam, he may have some content out there on his blog, which is Cloud Living. He's, I would say he's also been a, uh, he's a peer and a very inspiring dude to us. And the DC, the Down in My Circle, is a really good community for uh, people who are, you know, have already been in the game for a while. It's not really specific to Amazon affiliates or even SEO. It's more general business advice, but that's a great private community of uh, experienced entrepreneurs. So that may be a fit for uh, some listeners as well. Yeah, absolutely. Well, and kind of related here, would you say there's any, you know, software or tools, things that really helped you while running this business that our listeners might like as well? Yeah, well, one tool that, is relatively new is amazon link checker.com i think it's just amz link checker.com and i know there's a couple of competitors out there but what this tool does is it automatically looks at your site and every outgoing link to amazon and tells you if that product is available or out of stock or if its rating has dropped on amazon so without You could have a 10-page site or a 1,000-page site, and this would do it automatically for you. So all you have to do is go in there every so often and see. I mean, you get email alerts to see if any of your products have gone out of stock. And if that's the case, you either find a different affiliate program or just move a different product up to that number one spot or whichever product has gone out of stock. So that's been a really helpful tool. takes less than five minutes to set up and just saves you a lot of time and makes you more money by making sure that all of your products are in stock on Amazon. Yeah, that's a a very solid recommendation. Awesome. So, you know, what drove you and motivated you while having this business? I think both Brandon and I are just really passionate about SEO, where the fact that you can build a website and have it ranking so that anyone anywhere in the world, when they're looking for a particular item or keyword or land on your website, that's just so powerful. Like I could build a website that someone in that Indonesia is, you know, coming to buy something from and just doing things at the global scale, being able to do this repeatedly and scale it. It's just something that keeps me really motivated. We've also built out our team to about 26 people right now. And just, yeah, just doing it for the team and making it bigger than ourselves is has been a huge motivation for both of us too. Oh, that's awesome. It's really cool to hear. You guys have a pretty unique perspective on this entire space. So, well, then I have uh, just one wrap up question for you. Putting yourself in the shoes of a buyer, why do you think this is a business worth buying? I think a business worth buying for a couple of reasons. One is there's two sites included in here, which helps with risk mitigation. It also pushes, if you stay at the top of Google for with both the sites, you're basically pushing your competitors away. You're keeping the money out of their pockets, so which keeps you ranking higher. It's also a great business if you want to just maintain it and not put any time and effort. It's been running on autopilot for us pretty much for a long time now. But on the flip side, if you're someone who really wants to grow the business, there's definitely a lot of easy wins without taking, depending on how much time you want to invest in this, whether it's just activating a few codes for Amazon One Link, which enables you to earn internationally, or just adding ads to the websites. Again, just a matter of adding codes. So if they want to keep it simple, they can still grow the site. But if they have someone with experience in Amazon FBA, the site package also allows for a lot of growth potential over there. So depending on who you are, there's advantages from quite a few different angles for the site package. Great. Well, that's pretty much all the questions that I had for you guys. Is there anything else that I might have missed during this interview? No, I think that's great from my end. Anything yeah. else, Brandon? No, I think you covered it. Yeah. Great. Awesome. Well, I appreciate having you guys on. Uh, really cool to hear your story and you know, best of luck with the deal and, and the sale process. Looking forward to seeing how it all plays out for you guys. Absolutely. Awesome. Thanks yeah, a lot, Sarah. As well. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Sarah. And all right, everyone, thanks for listening. To check out more details on this business or to unlock 